Dalawang linggo na lang at sasabak na sa bakbakan ng ating mga atleta sa 29 Southeast Asian Games sa Kuala Lumpur. Kumpiyansa ang ating top sports officials na hakot ng mga medalya ang mga Pinoy athletes sa games. At makakusap natin ngayon ng apat sa mga atleta natin, si Kat Magno ng speed skating, Jules Alpe ng figure skating at ice hockey players, na si Jurel Kisostomo at Julius Santiago. Gentlemen and lady, welcome to The Score. Kat, welcome back to you. All right, I'll start with you ladies first. Uh, first of all, can you grab the mic? Uh, first of all, this is the first time we have the Sea Games that has... How do you call this? Winter games, no? Ice sports. Ice sports, yes. okay. Ice sports. Uh, as, as one of the many ice uh, sports athletes we have, how did you guys feel when you found out that finally the SEA Games will have ice sports? I think for all of us, especially coming after mm -hmm. the Asian Winter Games, we're, we're really excited that they're including ice sports mm -hmm. in what is more of summer sports. Right. So, And for us to be able to make that history for the 29th Sea Games, I think it's it's a great opportunity mm -hmm. for all of us. Nobody finds it weird that it's a Southeast Asian region that there's no ice. But I feel region. like that's great for us be coming from a tropical right, country yeah, because it helps us promote our sports. Correct, correct. Okay, I'll get back to you and your training in a bit. Let's go to Jules. Jules, you will be competing right. as well as uh, as one of the four figure skaters, correct? Yeah, yeah. So you and Michael yeah, and, and then and the two girls. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, how does it feel? How different do you feel this is? I mean, if you've been competing marami ng international competitions, uh -huh. represent the Philippines. Anong naiba for the SEA Games? Uh, for, for the SEA Games, uh, siyempre po, uh, uh, much preparation for this because mm. this is like uh, kagaya po ng Sapporo na first time kaming makakasali with right. the pre uh, ICE team. Mm -hmm. So, ito po is a uh, big pressure for us kasi yun nga po, kami yung unang ICE, ice game na pumunta mm -hmm. doon and then uh, malaki rin po yung pressure kasi I'm gonna compete with the Olympian skater, right. which is Michael Martinez. Right, right. But for us as a team, may have the expectations with I to medal. I mean, uh, tell us how the competition is. How good are the other Southeast Asian teams in terms of figure skating? Mm, uh, the most, uh, ang nakita ko pong malaking kalaban namin is Malaysia. Malaysia, okay. Uh, which is they're building a uh, good skater na rin so, po. Kasi okay. uh, some of them are training in abroad. So, like, us, uh, yung, yung kagaya ko po, uh, mm -hmm. I'm training in here in Malila, okay. and then uh, to train in Russia rin po. Ah, which makes sense why they included it in the SEA Games, kasi mm -hmm. silang host. Oh, ah, so, ibig sabihin, may kumpiyanta sila, mm -hmm. na malakas sila. Okay, let's okay. go to the ice hockey guys, Jarel and Julius. First of all, ice hockey is such a unique sport that not everybody gets into. I remember growing up, I used to see it in SM Mega Mall, the, the pioneers would play, even with the <laughs> big post in the middle. You might not be old enough to know about that. <laughs> but how did you get into ice hockey? Uh, Paano niyo naisip tong sport na pasukan? Let's start with you, Jarrell. Uh, ever since I was a kid, uh, everyone would be talking about basketball and okay. football. So it's kind of like normal for mm -hmm. like for someone to be basketball players or football right. players. Mm -hmm. And it just really felt good to be different, mm -hmm. you know, to say that I play ice hockey. And Ever since I started ice hockey, I just fell in love with the pace of the sport. It's mm -hmm. like a really fast-paced game. And yeah, like everything about ice hockey is just super different from the rest. Julius, one thing I, I, I see so fascinating about ice hockey is it's a combination of the agility to skate, the, the speed, you know, the lateral movements, all that, and then the physicality of having to take all the bumps and all that. How hard is that to learn to master all that and to be an effective ice hockey player um honestly it's really hard especially the skating part palang okay the, i think that's the first thing you need to learn mm -hmm. when you want to uh, play ice hockey mm -hmm. and for me talaga that's that's really that's really hard and the physical physical part it's it's it doesn't hurt as much as people think it would pero because okay. of all the padding and yeah, all that okay. you wear uh, chest pads mm -hmm. and you, you wear a lot of padding, man, so it, it doesn't hurt. But if sometimes you get injured because, you know, uh, unlucky hits and right, that. Right. But uh, all in all, I think skating is harder than the hitting part. Than the hitting part, I can imagine. Okay, Jarrell, you guys competed in Japan as well. Uh, Tamav already this year. So that was the first, uh, technically first uh, competition that you played as a Philippine national team. Kamusta yung expectations ng team now going to the Southeast Asian Games after what you were able to do in Japan? I think after the team was able to place third, mm -hmm. I think expectations are very different from mm -hmm. 
then to now since uh, people are really expecting us to win another medal, mm -hmm. right? And especially after getting third in Sapporo, we re we're really going for something higher. Mm -hmm. We really want to give it our best. We, we want to uh, come back stronger and all that. So we really want to work harder than before. And, and Julius, um, how do you think this will help promote the sport all the more because now that you're going to the sea games it's being talked about more and there are people who are pleasantly surprised hey we have a, a philippine ice hockey team so do you think this will help promote the sport even more and probably get more younger kids get into the sport uh yeah of course i think especially now people are getting more curious mm -hmm. about uh all the ice sports speed skating right. and figure skating mm -hmm. and i think sea games it's it's a way for us to promote our uh, ice hockey even more mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Kat for you uh, you've competed in the Southeast Asian level previously okay and you've you've garnered a bunch of medals <laughs> uh, tell us how this might be different for you how do you feel competing against them again but yet uh, the Southeast Asian games I think might be a little bit different because they, they like to you know each country likes to see their medal tallies go higher so each sport has that pressure you gotta help the overall medal haul I think um, my past competitions, which was the ISU Tri-Series Sea Cup, mm -hmm. I was also a different athlete then. Okay. So preparing for the Sea Games now, I'm training a lot harder than I did before. Mm -hmm. And I feel for the athletes going into this Sea Games, we're all looking at it because it's the first time that ice sports will show up. So right. of course, we want to be able to make that history. Mm -hmm. So not just me, but all the other sea countries and all the other sea skaters right. are doubling their training mm -hmm. or working harder than what we did before and just trying to make sure that we prepare ourselves as best as possible prior for sea games. And just like the ice hockey guys, um, how is the sport of speed skating here in the Philippines? I remember SM started the first tournament a few years back. Uh, I was there. I think that's where I first met you as well. Um, are you training others now? Uh, how, how do you get these kids who, you know, first jump into the skating rink just for fun. <laughs> Some go into figure skating, but how do you get them interested as well into speed skating I want to say after the accomplishment I made in speed skating mm -hmm. that also helped in the promotion of right. the sport mm -hmm. so I had a lot of skaters come up to me and I'm very happy that they look up to me in that sense that they mm -hmm. want to try the sport okay. because oh you know we saw you and we thought it was so great we want to try the sport okay. and the tr skaters that I'm training now I feel are very excited because they know that they will also make history and right. it won't just be me but I think personally to be able to pass my knowledge what I've learned in just a short amount of time it's it's a really great privilege for me to be mm. able to hand that off to the skating community we've had good athletes in the track and field you know generally Filipinos are quite fast how do you see this possibly translating I mean the genes wise uh, our athleticism <laughs> on the ice I would say we have a great chance because not only that, I think our height as well. Okay. <laughs> because if you're closer to the ice, it's good for us okay. as speed skaters. Is that what you call the low level? Center, center, of, center of gravity. Of gravity? Okay. Yeah. All right, got so it. Um, I think it's really great. But I feel as Filipino athletes, mm -hmm. we have the we have such great fire inside mm -hmm. us, and I think the way we look at you know certain sports, and I feel like they also feel the same as me. Mm -hmm. We have such passion and dedication for what we do and I think that translates not just as for speed skaters but for all the Filipino athletes. All right, very well said. Well, you'll be all leaving soon. Uh, what date are you leaving? Next week sometime? We all leave different dates actually. Okay, so different dates for the uh, competition. Yeah, the ice hockey team will be leaving first okay. and then the figure skaters and then I will be the all last. Right. Well, we wish you all the best of luck. Uh, we can't wait to see you guys come back home with a bunch of medals as well. So good luck, guys. Uh, and uh, you. we know you're going to make our country proud. Thank Salamat. You. Thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.